So I can't put the, point the camera onto the Carlsberg site? Not really, no. What do you mean by not really? Well, I'm just saying, we don't want you doing it. Yeah, All but right? is, it lawful, is it unlawful to do it? If you're filming people on the site, yes. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're in Northampton and we've come to have a look at the Carlsberg UK factory. So we've got a little uh, road down here. Let's go and take a look. They've obviously got these uh, scooters, electric scooters in this area, powered by Vo, Voi. You just scan the QR code lock to unlock it. Put your card details in. Right, what's this say? Caution, barrier head, do not proceed. Beware of cyclists. Well, we're not a vehicle, are we? Not no parking. Oh, employee company shop. That's interesting. Company shop for use by Carlsberg employees, embedded contractors, and authorised personnel only. ID required for all purchases. Maximum of six packs of product allowance. Card payments only. Wow. Is it good discount, mate? Yeah. Cover your, cover your pin number. Is it half price, is it, for staff? Half price for no, staff? We don't sell to the public. How much discount do the staff get? No discount. No discount? That's no good. What are the perks of working here then? It's a big place, isn't it? How long has it been here for? Thank you. See you later. Have a good night, mate, with all that. You know. <laughs> good on you. You work hard, you got to play hard, don't you? I'm just doing a video around the area, mate. Anything interesting to do with Carlsberg? You ain't got to participate. Uh, You've not got to participate. The company would say you're not allowed to film on site, so... Would they? Yes. Right. Sorry. Data protection and all that. Is it? You've got some data in here, have you? Yeah, you're not allowed to film awesome. on site. You're actually on Carlsberg property now. Yeah, yeah. So it's only um, like a trespass, isn't it? Well, Nothing serious. I say, you're not what? allowed to film, so... Yeah, no problem, mate. Is, it, is there any signs that say that? I have no idea. I'll have a look round, see what people say, see if there's any signs in that, and we'll go from there, yeah? Obviously, this is just the staff shop, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Did they get good discount? No, they don't get discounts. I just told you that. They don't get discounts. I thought you were joking. No. What's the point of having a staff shop, then? Just for ease, so they ain't got a queue up and stuff? Not many reasons. Go on, give me one of them. They get an allowance every month. All oh, right. What a, a reduced price. Depends on what the stock is. So a little bit of a discount, but not too much. You 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 cap to how much you can buy, sort well, of thing. Part of their T's and C's, they get a beer allowance every month as part of their package. Ah, oh, brilliant. So look, so it is like an employee perk, isn't it? Well, it can be. Yeah. yeah. Good on you. Good on you. They're looking after the staff, aren't they? So this is where the staff enter, is it? On this secure area. What we got? No smoking, 10 mile an hour speed limit, no unauthorised persons beyond this point. There you go, that's a good one. We're not going by that point, are we? Visitors must be accompanied. Please obey all the signs. Yeah. Got a security hut there. Well, that's quite old, that clock. That's like the old, um, the old industry clocks that they used to have. So yeah, you got a nice secure staff area. Nice secure motorbike area. And a nice way bridge down there in the middle. Look at all them silos look for all the beer. Brilliant. How long's this place been here, mate? Do you know? Uh, many areas. But Sorry? Yeah, certainly we do ask that you don't take video, so there is signs and all that that says no video. Come and show me a sign then. Okay, we do ask that no, no videos are taken. Yeah, just show me the sign then. Okay, you're busy filming me, you haven't asked if you can film me, okay? 
That's my right to ask you to stop filming me, please. Would you like me to show would you like to show me the sign? No, no, no. I'm asking you to stop filming me, please. You have not it's my that's data. The data law clearly says I can ask you to stop filming, please. It doesn't, my friend. Yes it does. It doesn't. Yes it does. Um Okay, have you asked my permission to video me? No, I haven't, no. Okay, so that means you can't not carry on videoing me, so please if you can stop. Did you see that I was recording? Well, you're holding it and you're recording yeah. it at the did, moment. Did you see it before yes, you came over? CCTV, yes. So you saw I was call, recording yes. and then you came up to me to say stop correct. recording. That's now, I'm, I'm afraid um, it doesn't work like that, my okay. friend. I'm do, what I'm doing, what I'm doing... delete that, okay, or else I get the police to come and delete it. Okay, I will not be deleting it. Okay. Um, then, the, if, that, if I see that on any website, okay, I will personally find you and I will charge you. Yeah, okay. you, you're entitled to do that. Thank you. Do you know what my name is? I, I don't need to know your name. How will you find me? Very easy. Okay. Very easy. Good luck with that. No, because you know what I tell you. You think you're clever, but I don't think so. Okay, mate. Okay. I don't think you're clever. Though. Okay. Okay. So I suggest either you put that away now. No, it won't be, it won't be being put away. Okay, I'll get the police. Okay, not a problem. That's fine, mate. That's fine. No problem. All I asked... Are you going to walk away now? I only... No. Yeah, I'm, I'm, going to I'm going to be waiting around here. Come on, wait I only asked how, how long it's been there for, how old is the business. You can go on the Colesburg website and, and you can find out yeah, but, that information. But you didn't say that, did you? You asked me so to stop recording. Doing another person, okay. Yeah, and for, okay. for his... Um, okay, can for, you show me where you've got signage that you are really people? No, you don't. Right. Like what we currently have, that we've got portions... Yeah, yeah, and I said to you, would you like to show me the sign? That's quite reasonable. If you want to show me the sign, then we can... Over, Come and show me then. Okay, I'll have a look. Yeah, I'll have a look. That's fine. That's fine. Let's have a look where, what it means. So we've got no smoking. 10 mile an hour. No unauthorised people beyond this point. Visitors must be accompanied. Please obey all signs. High visibility jackets. Hard hats to be worn. Protective footwear to be worn. First aid contact security. I can't see anything that mentions no filming. So would you like me to would you like to show me the sign please? No? Would you like to show me the sign please? Yes. Come on then. Oh round here, okay. I'll have a look. Round here, yeah? Down here, yeah? Is this where you said? We've got heavy vehicles. We've got Carlsberg would like to remind, remind employees that they offer, offer a search policy. No, I still can't find it. We've got danger lorries turning. Pedestrians, please use the level crossings provided. Down here. Can't see anything about not filming though. That's strange, isn't it? It must be confused. Where's this sign about no filming, eh? To be used by Carlsberg Production male and female employees. Also, the car park, it can be used by male and females. Oh, that's nice of them. It's just been weighed on the way bridge. And here it comes. Food products. So it says down there, look, no pedestrian access. So we're not gonna go past it. We're just gonna have a nice look inside. Oh look, big Carlsberg truck coming in. They look after the grounds, look. Got the gardener currently cutting the grass. It's nice actually because there is a public footpath which runs all the way around from the main road all the way in. And this, they obviously uh, own the, the land that meets the public footpath. So for them to keep it looking nice like that, that's really good. Keeps the local image up. 
here coming into the the site we've got two borg pills and a lager a liquid soundtrack i like that the guy over there is currently trying to take uh, a photo of myself so i'm just going to pop my mask on Did you just take a photo of me? Nope. Are you aware? Taking pictures of me. Are you aware of GDPR? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I'm entitled to a, to a copy of that. Yeah. You, so what's your name? To... What's your name? I don't have to give my name. You do. If I need, no, I, I need to request a copy of it. I need to request a copy I'll of that. Ask you to stop the recording. You carried on. So I've just taken a photograph. I've just asked you if you're aware of GDPR. You must know that don't, don't apply to the members of the public. No. It only applies to organisations. So it doesn't apply to members of the public. So my point is, I want a copy of that photo. Okay, what's your, your supervisor's name? No, I'm the manager. So what's your name, name please? Uh, well, it's not going to look good. When this gets published online, it is not going to look good. Where's this sign about no filming? And off he goes. So this is um, typical of what they do a lot with the weights. They take a weight on the way in, take a weight on the way out, and the difference will be what they get invoiced for. You right, mate? Right. You work here or just contractor? You got delivery, yeah. Just ignore me then. I don't work here. It's nice to see a map over there. Look at the site. If you can see that over there with my lovely free time zoom shows that along the outside of the building they've got all these silos one two three four about 10 20 30 40 it might be about 50 50 of these big silos you don't need me to tell you what they store inside but yeah it's interesting that they've got the glass along the side what i'm going to do i'm going to take the drone over and then we'll see if we can get a look inside that glass part that'll be interesting So now this, uh, this cab unit is gone. We get to read the sign on the floor properly. Oh, and it says beer. Beer shop. Beer shop only. So while it's quiet on this entrance at Carlsberg, notice they've got a, a path running up the side. So let's go and have a look. And I can take the mask off as well. So this is interesting. Razor wire within reach of a normal pedestrian like that which is running along a pedestrian footpath so my understanding is if there's a pedestrian footpath so a highway and the barbed wire is within reach then that is not allowed but is it allowed if they put signs up that's something i will have to look into so on legislation.gov.uk, the Highways Act 1980, section 164, says that where on land adjoining a highway, there is a fence made with barbed wire or having barbed wire in or on it, and the wire is a nuisance to the highway, a competent authority may by notice served on the occupier of the land require him to abate the nuisance within such time. So... Basically, if anybody reports it as being a problem, then the local authority have the power to get it removed. So not automatically a problem unless it causes somebody a problem. So yeah, the silos go all the way down the side of the, the building, look. And then you've got this little pathway, the waste bin here. Oh my God, look at all that. Yeah, but the, the pathway, it says uh, public footpath, look. Riverside walk. So we'll have a little walk down here, eh? See what we can see from this angle. Lovely setting at the side of the canal. Although the canal water's looking a bit of a dodgy colour. A 
dodgy green. But I've seen worse settings. Let's carry on having a look. See what we can find. That's interesting how they've put hanging baskets along the side here, look. <laughs> oh, even got quite new, uh, new plants in there with the card still on. Yeah. How old is this site? Two hundred. Well, on this site here. Well, the, the cars by themselves, I think, is around eighty years, maybe seventy. Seventy, eighty on this site. Yeah. All right, thank you. Seventy-three. Sorry. Nineteen seventy-three. Nineteen seventy-three. Thank you, mate. I'm just making a video. Nineteen seventy-three on this site. Because I looked on the website and it just mentions uh, other other countries. Yeah, nineteen seventy-three. So as we come to the end of the outside of the site, you've got like a concrete silo, which is not a silo, but it's got Carlsberg on. That's quite nice to see. And underneath one of the bridges, you've got signs of somebody sleeping rough. Like a tent under there, look, and a sleeping bag. Someone's having a hard time, aren't they? From the back of the building, it's all made out of glass, so you can see straight through. I wonder if that's to do with um, letting the daylight in. There must be some reason of uh, using glass as a material on the side, on the canal. It looks like a barge has been uh, living there. Got loads of signs of slides and swings. Not a bad way to live if it's legal. Nice and cheap. And as we go up this side, we can see one of the lorries that just came in, absolutely rammed, full of something. So let's get closer and have a look. So yeah, inside one of them trailers, absolutely jam-packed of bottles. That's also quite interesting over there on the canal, how it's got that gate. I'll have to look in to see what that does. Must be something to do with the floods. And you've got a lovely bridge there in the background. And loads of these scooters that are going around. Pallets of San Miguel being loaded onto the, the trailer down there. So yeah, while I've been standing here having a closer look, they look like the empty bottles these do, with them not being labelled. Can't see no tops on the actual bottles themselves. They must just be delivering empty bottles ready to be filled. It may be the same with all these out stored outside. Therefore, no need for heavy security. They're all empty bottles, ain't they, mate? Yeah, wh who makes them? Sorry? Top secret. Top secret? <laughs> Is it in the UK? Yes. Yeah, that's good. What beer will go into them bottles? Okay, mate. Do you know the ones at the back, are they all empty as well? Okay. There you have it, confirmation. Can't tell you where makes them, but they're all empty. Do you know, mate, do you know this gate out here on the canal? You know the gate out here on the canal, the green gate? Yeah. Is that when it floods? Oh, that leads to a railway. Why would it, why would the water need to go down there? Strange, isn't it? I've never seen that before. Oh, so behind it, there's another canal, is there? For like where the repair and stuff may be. Interesting. I'm going to move on now. Thank you. He reckons behind that, uh, behind that block, there's another extension to the canal where they may be used to repair them. But we'll see that when we take the drone up. 
So these windows are interesting, how they've kept the bottom panel so that you can't see in. But the top ones, you can see in. So that's another thing that we'll have a look at when we get the drone out. Would you do that? Would you put all your trust in a blower and a parachute? Let me know, would you do that? And could this be something to do with the gate over there and that measuring stick? Ha ha! And here we are at the corner of the Carlsberg factory with more barbed wire. Definitely a highway this, you know, that smaller footpath, but this one where it's got the barbed wire on the highway with no sign. So for those that want to know what the drone looks like, here it is. It's got a unique number on it, which it has to have your, um, your drone license number by law. This is the control panel. That's what you see. And you literally just go up. So up, we'll take it up, look. And it will sit there until you do more controls. So if I want to turn it towards me, turn it. Turn it the other way and then up. So I'll show you the control up. Up takes it up, down takes it down and I can't do it with two hands, but that will make it go forward and that will make it go back, left and right. And the GPS locks it into position. So if you don't press anything, it won't move. Right, switch over to the drone shot.
So there we go, we took the drone up. We did find out that it was some sort of overflow for the canal down there. We had a look through the windows, saw some barrels being loaded. And now it's time just to finish off the perimeter tour. See if there's anything else interesting we can see. Let's go and have a look. And here we come to the head office and brewery entrance. No HGVs, because they use the entrance that we've already seen around the other side. So this must just be literally for like employee car park and, and visitors. But it's only a tiny little car park. Some open blinds here, look, so we can see into the offices. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? A few people in there. Looks like the offices are not used in this section. Look at the lady, look. Can't hear ya. I can't hear ya. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. I'm only having a nosy, nothing to worry about. Can't hear what you're saying though. I think she says, who are you? Yeah, it's just more offices, but no one looks like to be working. Maybe they're working from home or something. I bet it used to be buzzing in there. But not during the modern times with the orders from the PM. This looks like a, a disused entrance as well. It says for sale. Maybe this part of the building's for sale, but through there you can see Carlsberg signage. I don't know whether the camera will pick it up, but there's some Carlsberg signage. There's uh, tells you that there's a roof garden, human resources, meeting rooms, hot desks post rooms stuff like that in there so I bet they've had the order to work from home these big organizations but strangely uh, it's got for sale so I'm not quite sure not quite sure at all on this one and then once we come round that corner there where the disused offices were it brings you back to where we started down at the, the now nicely cut grass thanks to the gardener and I even spotted the gardener taking a photo of his work as well. Bless him. He is proud of these lines. They do look good. Look, the staff shop sells so much that they have these trolleys for them to carry it away in. Police didn't arrive, did they? I've just walked all the way around. I have no idea. No, while you've been here, you've not noticed the police cars pull up now. That's all right. I didn't want them to look for me, waste of time, do you know what I mean? So that, that would be the worst thought if like the police get called and they're out looking for me, wasting time rather than they could be catching some criminals. So yeah, I'm about done then. Is there not many office staff working here at the minute? No. They've all been like working from home, are they? Yeah, yeah makes sense. Is that why, do you know that blue shutter on the main road, is that normally open for the office people? Or is that? This is an office, this is a brewery. Yeah, do you know where you've got all the offices down near the blue shutter on the main road bit? Oh, that's closed. Yeah, is that for sale, that part? Yeah. yeah. So you have no office staff working there at no, all? No, that, that building's closed. Did they used to work there? Yeah. But, but did COVID change yeah, that? No, it's just because of different things, they closed the building. Like restructuring and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So is it the fact that they've moved up to other offices or just working yeah, from home? Yeah, working from home now. Uh, it does make sense, yeah. But the, so now they can actually sell that asset, put more money into the bank yes. and use it for other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, brilliant. I think it's awesome. Very tidy around the side. I like how you've got some um, like hanging baskets on the fence yeah. on the side of the canal. So you're actually looking after your surroundings. You are bothered as a business. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see. Yeah, spot on. All right, thank you very much. You. So yeah, the police never did arrive. Um, so we've done our virtual tour now. We have not spotted any signs that say no filming, which is a shame. And it's a shame about that guy there who came out and just didn't want to interact, didn't want to provide any information about the business. He just wanted to go straight on the defensive about no filming, see the signs, see the signs, but there are no signs. You know, there was no need for any of that. So I hope you've enjoyed that tour of Carlsberg. And I'll leave you with one last shot of the different types of beer they do. 
You've got Carlsberg, uh, Young's, San Miguel, and just over there, if I can see it, Brewers. Is it Brewers Fair, that back one? Come on, just do me a favour, one last thing before I go, just reel off all the beers that you do. I can't, there's too many. Oh, okay, just the ones you know, off the top of your tongue. San Miguel and Exports. That's it? Oh man, I've got more than you. <laughs> all right, take care, have a safe, have a, enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. I was gonna say have a safe journey over, but you're not going anywhere, are you? <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm just about to leave, my friend. Wait, you got anything you want to say? No, no, if you're going, that's fine, thank no, you. Go on, let me hear it. Nothing to say. If you're going, that's good, thank you. Okay, but your colleague said there's no recording allowed on site. He said he was going to call the police, but the police never arrived. No, the police have been fine. Yes, sir. Is he becoming a nuisance yet? Anyway, if you said you're going, if you'd follow what you're saying, please. No, what it is, your colleague informed me that he was calling the police. Now, I do not like to leave if the police are en route. Well, I don't know. I've just heard him say again for the second time that they are on the way. Well, if, if they turn up, they turn up. If they don't, that's it. Anyway, uh, yeah, but if like the... I said, if you said you're going... I can't go you. if the police have been called. You can. No, I don't want to waste their time. You won't be wasting their time. Could I just ask, is filming allowed on site? No. Where does it say that? It's in the terms and conditions of the site. Do you think it will be sensible to put it on display like your other signs if you wanted to let us know about that rule? We can't put all the terms and conditions on our sign. Okay. Right. Um, do you know if I stand over there on the public footpath, is it, am I allowed to film from there? Not of the premises. You can film anything that's coming down the road, but not of the premises. So I can't put, but point the camera onto the Carlsberg site? Not really, no. What do you mean by not really? Well, I'm just saying we don't want you doing it. Yeah, All but right? is it lawful? Is it unlawful to do it? If you're filming people on the site, yes. So the police, well, the police you're, would. You're contravening the uh, regulations of the site. All right. Yeah, it's so your anyway. It, it's your policy, though, isn't it? It's not my policy. It's the company. Policy. Yeah, but the public members of the public wouldn't follow your policy, would they? No. Because we're on a public footpath. You're filming me, and I don't want you filming. So if you can stop that now, please. I'm a member of the public making a, a film. I said, can you stop filming me now? No, if you want, if you don't want to be stopped, stop filming. If you me don't now. want, if you don't want to be filmed, you can walk away. You can walk away if you don't want to be filmed. You can walk away oh, if you don't go. want to be filmed. Thank you. We've talked enough. Why don't you just walk away if you don't We've want to be filmed? Enough. We've talked enough. Why don't you can walk away. Mind you, don't trip on that. Thank you. Bye now. But yeah, it's very interesting to see these different types of people and how they behave to members of the public with a camera. Very interesting indeed. I was wondering for a moment there, was he actually going to put hands on? But he didn't. Credit to him. So I think that's going to be it from Carlsberg. They did say that the police were on the way for a second time. So I've waited around for another 10 minutes, but no sign. So yeah, definitely going to head off now. And I hope you've enjoyed that one and the drone flyover. And we found out what the, uh, the canal gate did. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. So from Carlsberg in Northampton, bye-bye for now.